So by now, I think it's abundantly clear since author J.K. Rowling has made it known every opportunity she uh, she had that she hates trans women. Okay, we get it. But how obsessed she is with hating trans people, truly, I didn't know the depths of her bigotry. She is she's out of her mind. Like she is obsessed with demonizing trans people. And if you also don't agree with her and, and think like her and also think that trans people are uh, some sort of subspecies, especially trans women, then uh, she doesn't want to be associated with you because Stephen King, another author who's a better author, by the way, he tells the story of uh, JK Rowling canceling him, his words, not mine for not hating trans people. Yeah. So as Andrew Schuster of Mediaite explains, Stephen King discussed his falling out with fellow author J.K. Rowling after he tweeted his support for trans women. Last year, the Harry Potter author deleted a tweet praising the horror novelist and unfollowed him on the social media platform after he sanctioned a tweet saying, trans women are women. Joe canceled me, King told the Daily Beast in a new interview. She sort of blocked me and all that. Here's the thing. She is welcome to her opinion. That's the way the world works. King continued, if she thinks that trans women are dangerous or that trans women are somehow not women or whatever problem she has with it, the idea that someone masquerading as a woman is going to assault a real woman in the toilet, if she believes all those things, she has a right to her opinion. King went on to tell the Daily Beast that despite the backlash she's received, nobody has canceled J.K. Rowling. He added, she's doing fine. I just felt that her belief was, in my opinion, wrong we have differing opinions but that's life i mean i did not know she was that obsessed with trans people that's bizarre that's really weird that's really weird if somebody else doesn't support your bigoted view about trans women you actually block them on social media wow now stephen king is uh too nice here he makes it seem like, well, you know, I know that she doesn't think that trans women are women and she thinks that they are uh, bad people in general and they're predators. But I mean, that's just a difference of opinion. No, that's not a difference of opinion. Some things aren't necessarily a matter of opinion, right? Some people might have the opinion that climate change isn't actually man-made. Some people might have the opinion that the pandemic isn't actually real. Some people might have the opinion that racism doesn't exist anymore, that institutional racism isn't a thing. These people are objectively wrong because empirical reality does not support their claims. Trans women are women, period. So he's too nice. Most liberals are. And he's giving her a pass. And he also said, look, you know, she's, she's bad on this issue, but she is better on other issues. She's against Donald Trump. Oh, wow. Let's give her an award for being anti-Trump. She was also anti-Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't stand her, and, and I'm not trying to go out of my way to attack Stephen King. I think that it's it's really interesting of him to speak up about this, because usually when, when you're that famous and another famous person kind of comes at you or cancels you, then you might not necessarily feel inclined to speak out if you, if you want to avoid drama. But I, I'm glad he shared this, because it truly speaks to how deranged this individual is who's just obsessed with trans people. Hey, J.K. Rowling, leave trans people alone. Leave trans people alone. Deal with the fact that trans people are here and they're not going anywhere, like it or not. So you can try to demonize trans women. You can try to hate against them and be prejudiced against trans people. But all you're doing is making their lives hell. They're not going to go away. They're here to stay. So you can choose to actually be a good person and accept trans people and stop propagating discrimination against them. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and you're going to be judged very harshly by history. Because like all civil rights issues, interracial marriage, gay marriages, women's suffrage, we all know where this issue is headed. It's just a matter of when society is going to change its opinion more collectively. And you're going to be on the wrong side of history if you don't wake up. But at this point, I mean, she she's done so much to damage 
the trans community, particularly trans women, to demonize them when they are already subject to, you know, uh, violence and, and uh, marginalization. It's just, she's a bad person, and that's all I could say. And she's also a petty piece of shit. Uh, it's certainly uh, not surprising at this point, but of course, I'm going to call you out when you attack trans women because uh, it's not right what you're doing. And quite frankly, it, it's pretty it's pretty disgusting, pretty grotesque what you're doing. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know how you live with yourself trying to make the lives of marginalized people harder. But I mean, she's a millionaire, a multimillionaire. So she doesn't care. She's insulated, she's privileged, and she doesn't care about the impact that she has on the world. So she continues to, uh, you know, demonize trans people. It's pathetic.